Hello Internet world, welcome to my review of the StarTech.com 10 port industrial USB 3 hub. This was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's exchanged hands, they haven't asked to pre-approve the video, nor for me to say anything in particular. I'm just going to share with you my opinion of this product that I've been using over the past few weeks so you can make an informed buying decision. So let's get on with the review. As I mentioned earlier, this is the StarTech.com 10 port industrial USB 3 hub and that's USB 3.1 Gen 1 which supports up to 5 gigabits per second. Uh, it's also got a really good array of ports on here plus ESD and surge protection as well. Now let me show you the box contents. First of all you do get this uh, quick start guide. It's going to guide you through getting everything up and running including mounting. You can mount this to a DIN rail, you can mount it to a wall. It's a very versatile professional USB hub. We also get some uh, extra accessories inside the box including these little uh, brackets to aid in mounting the hub. We also get a full array of cables for different countries. So we get this one here which is a European two pin to figure of eight cable. We also get this one here which I believe, I'm not sure, but I believe this is Australia, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but this goes to the, the same figure eight and then it's got this angled flat pin on the end here. We also get this one here, which is a two pin uh, blade sort of straight connector. Uh, this one, USA. And then this one here, we've got a three pin UK plug on here as well. So four different cables for four different countries. And then you also get a multi-voltage uh, power brick. So your power cable is going to plug into here. And then this is going to in turn plug into the hub. On the back here, we've got some specifications which shows it operates 100 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, 1.4 amp max. So a nice compact power supply. And as I say, this plugs in via this uh, terminal block connector into the hub itself. And then we've got the USB cable. So this end goes into the hub. This end goes into your computer. If you wanted this to be USB-C, you could adapt this to USB-C with a little optional adapter. Uh, but as it comes, it's a USB-A cable, a really nice thick gauge cable as well. Very, very good quality. And then we've got the hub itself. As I mentioned earlier, this is uh, termed as an industrial hub and it's built so, so well. Not only does this give you the array of ports across the top edge here, uh, it also has ESD and surge protection built in as well. We've got the mounting portion just here, which you can use with those little tiny brackets that I showed you, uh, or indeed you could, if you really wanted to, just mount this direct to the underside of a desk, for example. It's metal casing, so it's very, very robust. It's got this nice sort of mottled effect finish on this, I really do like that. Uh, StarTech.com branding across the bottom. And then we've got the connector here, which you can see, it's got ground plus seven to 24 volt DC. So that's where you're gonna plug in that power adapter. Power LED just here. And then you've got all of these connectors. So this one here, the top one, goes into your computer. And then these give you a total of 10 USB 3.1 Gen 1 connections to connect to peripherals. It's a really robust uh, hub and it gives enough power to your devices. You've, if you've got devices that are like passive, not powered themselves, and you wanna run them off of here, this should uh, feed them enough power to run. So it's a really excellent hub. It's been super reliable over the past few weeks that I've been using it. I've been powering sort of some webcams off of here and some other peripherals, and it's not failed once. It's been so, so good, really uh, reliable connection, no drop-offs or anything like that, which I've experienced with cheaper hubs. This is a solid, solid offering. Yes, it does cost more than a conventional hub, but if you want something that's really reliable, this is well worth considering. This is the StarTech HB30A. 10 AME, that's the model number just on the box there. So if you want a decent hub, please do check this out. So that's it for this review. As I mentioned earlier, 
if you want to pick up a really reliable industrial level hub for your computer, then please do check out the links down in the video description. There's also a link there to the manufacturer's website. And if you've enjoyed my video, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing as well so you don't miss out on my future videos. I'll see you in another one very, very soon.